Hello there and welcome to Red Gaming Tech, another gaming news video with myself, Amata. Today is the 17th of May and I have some news for you today concerning Gears of War Judgment, as Epic Games have announced yet another new DLC pack for the game, which is going to be entitled Lost Relics. And This pack will include four new maps, new armour and weapon skins, as well as a new game type called Breakthrough. And according to the post on the Epic Games forums, Breakthrough will involve two teams. One will be in possession of a flag, which they'll need to transport to a certain location, while the other team will defend that location with unlimited resources. As for the new maps, they will include Lost City, Museum and Ward, as well as the return of Checkout. And this pack is due for release in June, but unfortunately does not have an actual Pacific release date just yet. So that, of course, brings the total number of versus maps to nine. And I have to say, I'm a little bit curious about this new mode because at first when I was just reading it there, I was thinking to myself, well, this sounds an awful lot like Capture the Flag. But it's not quite because obviously the other team is rather than trying to capture the flag and then take it to their location... Um, they are actually just defending the location where the flag needs to be placed with unlimited resources, which makes it rather interesting and basically it's going to be like or well, horde mode essentially, if you think about it, with whoever's on the defending team literally having unlimited ammo, health, blah blah blah, etc. to defend that location. So the opposing team, the one that's going to have to actually get the flag there, is going to have to think strategically. I mean, of course, the uh, characters defending the well, the location can die, of course. I mean, you know, the unlimited resources is an un unlimited health. That would be crazy. Um, so I'm just curious, you know, it's going to actually, uh, I think, encourage a lot of strategic thinking, because if you're against people who are much better prepared than you because they have unlimited ammo or what have you, then, well, you're going to have to plan very, very carefully in order to reach your goal. So I've been thinking that that's a slightly more strategic map, a slightly hoardy map, which is kind of cool. I like the idea, actually, and it's something a little bit different, which is always nice to see. Um, new modes and new ideas being brought in, even if it's a slight twist on a concept we're already familiar with, such as capture the flag. But still, innovation, even even in small ways, is still innovation. So I'd be curious to see what you long-standing Gears of War Judgment fans make of this particular piece of DLC or the idea of it, because obviously it's not out until June, which is, you know, quite a ways off just yet. It's only the 17th of May, so got a few weeks at least before this comes out. But still, what do you make of the idea, and are you happier now with this amount of maps? As I said down that this brings a total of versus maps to nine, whereas before it was at four, but it's still a ways off the 25 maps, of which was available in Gears of War 3. So be curious to see your thoughts on the DLC in general and the idea behind this one. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.